Hello, my name is Matthew from Pump and Valve. Today I wanted to show you the Roper gear pumps. Got one of these in front of me here. These are made in the United States in a little place uh, called Commerce in Georgia, to be exact. Um, these pumps are the workers of the industry. They are ideal for pumping your thicker, uh, more viscous liquids that are also lubricative. So liquids such as bitumen, um, molasses, resin, and even tallow, even though that's not so viscous, it's, it is lubricative, and so that means that we still can use this pump. Um, they pretty much, it's the perfect pump for those sort of liquids, so thick and lubricative is where you use them. Now, if we jump across to this pump here with the cutaway, um, this here, is, so it's what we call an external gear pump. So um, you can actually see the working mechanism of the pump in this here. So what you've got here is you've got a drive shaft, uh, sorry, a drive gear that's driven by a shaft which comes right to the back, um, and then you have an idler gear down the bottom. Now what happens is this pump rotates like so, liquid comes in the inlets, gets trapped in between the gears in between the teeth where my finger is, travels round, and down to the back where it's a little bit hard to see, um, where the gears squeeze together, that's what squeezes the liquid out, and then forces it out the discharge, and up and away. Um, just a quick note um, on external gear pumps versus internal gear pumps. The advantage that external gear pumps have is that your circumference of the gear is very small. So for each RPM, the actual distance travelled is not very much. Compare that to a internal gear pump of a similar displacement per re revolution. The gear will be significantly um, wider, which means that for every revolution, it travels a lot further, which means you'll get more wear. So that's just a bit by the by. Um, moving back through the pump, this is the shaft sealing arrangement and shown here is packed gland. Uh, what we've found surprisingly enough is that packed gland is still actually really popular. The reason being is that when you're pumping um, liquids such as bitumen, um, the mechanical seals that you have to use, they're very complex, very expensive and you can get varied results. Um, whereas packed gland, it's tried, it's proven, it's tested, you get a little bit of leakage but you can manage that, it's fine. Um, and then right at the back of the pump, we have an outboard bearing, so that is for if you're pulley driving your pump or if, if you're driving it with an external um, drive of any sort, it just locks this drive shaft in place, um, doesn't let the gear, sorry, the drive shaft move around at all and then doesn't let your gears wear prematurely. So that's why that's there. Um, around the front of the pump, this is a um, plain pump end um, without a relief valve. If you scan across to this other pump here, this face plate looks a bit different. This is because this has got a relief valve built into it. So this here um, basically prevents you against overpressure situations. So if you get an operator and inadvertently close a valve in the discharge, um, the plate inside this relief valve will just lift and the liquid will, will recirculate internally um, and will prevent pipe work and what have you blowing up, which is something that you really don't want. Maintenance on these pumps. Super easy to maintain. Your number one thing will be the gland packing. Um, completely accessible from here. Undo these nuts here, remove that out, remove your old gland packing, insert more in, done. Um, with your, when you're pumping lubricative liquids, which is where these pumps pretty much all get used, the actual amount of replacements you'll have to do on these will not be a lot. Um, your other wearing parts, bushes. Um, you've got four bushes, two on the face plates, two on the back plates. Um, they're a wearing part, they need to be replaced from time to time, and then also gears and shafts need to do, be done um, much less frequently. Um, I might point out that all of these spare parts are available um, from stock out of our Auckland warehouse. So we've got pumps, spare parts, completely stocked in our Auckland warehouse. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. I don't think there's anything else to cover on that. If you do have any applications um, that you think may fit this, give one of the team here a call. We'll be very happy to help you out. Like I say, we've got hundreds of these pumps out there installed. And if you're um, one of the guys who um, run a bitumen plant, you've probably got them hidden away under heat lagging so you can't see them. Um, so they're out of sight, out of mind. And that's a lot of the time that's how they get. Um, yeah, people just don't know they're there. They don't have to touch them, don't have to do any work on them, which is how we like it.